Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be walking you through how to use the application Kami, which is a free PDF and document markup tool that can be used on the Chrome browser to view, annotate, share, or collaborate on PDFs and documents. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link that I provided and then choose visit website up at the top right hand corner. This will then take you to the Kami website. From there, make sure that you are logging in with Google. It is free, so you can um, use this without paying. There are upgraded accounts, but I honestly think that the free account is everything that you would need. So on the right side, it might be telling you to upgrade to remove ads or um, to upgrade to get different features, but I do think that the free version has everything that you would need. Now from there, you can choose your documents by either opening it from Google Drive or from your computer. For me, I have everything on my drive, so I'm going to choose Open from Google Drive. And I'm going to find a PDF that I have in my drive. I will click on that, and it will open up in this drive. And from here, you can see the article and the editing tools that you can use to be able to annotate your PDF. There's highlighting, um, strike through, underline. You have the ability to comment or add text. You can draw on the document, add shapes erase what you've drawn or put in, and select text. So you have a lot of tools that you can work with that are very useful when you're um, reading or annotating articles. So let's say I want to highlight. I can just simply select the highlight tool, and I can go in and maybe I want to highlight this quote. And when I highlight it, it will automatically highlight it in yellow. I could also choose underline and go in and underline some text as well. And I can even change the color of that if I wanted to. I could add a comment. So I could choose to comment right here. Add a comment here. And that will save there. And that way, if I'm editing with another person, I can see what they have been saying on this article. You can even choose to add in text. Um, and you would just type anywhere on the screen to be able to add in that text. And you could add text here. The only thing with adding text is you just can't go off the document when you add that text. Um, so as you can see, a lot of those tools that students might normally do on paper, they can actually do online through this application. You can also share the app um, or share the document or PDF that you're editing. And so the students can do the same. And I did that with myself. I shared it with my personal accounts. And down in the bottom left corner, you can see that I've got my work account and my personal accounts. And it shows that both are logged onto this document. And if I were to add comments or make changes, um, both would be able, both users would be able to see and to see who made those changes. And to do that, they would just share the document in their Google Drive like they would normally. They'd go to their Google Drive, find the document, and share it with that user. Or they could also go up here to the share document button and it will give them a link to that document and it will also show who is able to collaborate on it. So there is not much more to this um, besides the fact that you want to make sure that you save it and um, that way it saves to your drive. And then if you want to download it, you can do that as well. But it is a great tool for the classroom. It is one that I can see being of a lot of benefit to um, teachers and students because it's a easy free tool to use for annotating PDFs and documents all from the Chrome browser. So if you have any questions on this, please feel to reach out and I can answer those questions. Thanks.